The final episode of Baby Reindeer left me feeling hollow since I was filled with so many different feelings. Though the story comes full circle with a brilliant climax that offers Donnie a eureka moment, what does it all mean? I've thought about a few different scenes from episode 7, here are my thoughts and theories. Donnie's collision and internet trending. Let's start by discussing the amazing monologue from episode 6, in which Richard Gadd portrays Donnie's lowest point in a performance that may have turned his career around. Donnie was merely supposed to do a stand-up act in the comedy competition final, but he ended up breaking down in front of everyone at an awkward moment because everyone knew about his past, his abuse history, and his personal struggles. Just so happens that at the climax, his breakdown becomes viral on the internet, opening up incredible doors and providing a great foundation for a prosperous career. But Donnie never seemed to be content. That emptiness still aches for him. Of course, the fact that Martha is still bothering Donnie at this point does not help. After obtaining his number, she keeps getting voicemail after voicemail. However, Donnie is more concerned about the risks facing his family. Donnie discovers a horrible truth about his dad. And so begins episode 7's first thought-provoking moment. Donnie meets with his parents to inform them about the widely shared video, in which he discusses his unclear sexual orientation and the rape he suffered at the hands of a writer who offered him a TV job. For Donnie, it's an emotional time as he anticipates his parents disliking his choices and way of life, but instead he hears his father confess that the Catholic Church was his upbringing. His father was making hints that he had been assaulted as a youngster by a Catholic priest, in case that was lost on anyone. This is a pivotal moment where the father and son realize they share more unfortunate situations in common. Martha's demise. I was actually glad for Donnie for once. Everything about him was transparent. He had no restrictions. At this point, he thought he had vanquished all of his demons. All he needed to do now was get rid of Martha, the bothersome, relentless, compulsive stalker. Donnie thinks he has to get as much information as he can on Martha after talking to a normal police officer, so he starts listening to all of her voicemails like a podcast. He listens and waits for the inevitable threats, not answering, something he finds difficult to do. Then Martha makes a threat, saying she would knife Donnie and his family. The weapon that smokes. The fall of Martha. I've been perplexed by my sentiments for these characters at different moments during this series. Martha appears in court in episode 7 to face allegations of harassment and stalking. As Martha enters a guilty plea and receives a sentence of 9 months in jail along with a 5-year restraining order, Donnie observes from the crowd. As she tears and notices Donnie among the crowd, I feel bad for her. Even if I strongly disapprove of her actions, loneliness may have the worst effects on a person. Donnie's trauma is unavoidable. Nothing about baby reindeer is simple, but Donnie feels like he has a fresh start. He goes back in with Keeley's mother and gets his life back on track, but he gives up comedy. Additionally, he has made it his goal to compile all of the data he knows about Martha and build a comprehensive archive. However, Donnie's trauma resurfaces when he discovers an old script he created that has notes from his abuser, Darian, on it. Remarkably, Donnie pays Darian a visit. It's a hard time to describe since both guys act as though their previous interactions with one another aren't the massive red flag in the room. Even more, Darian informs Donnie that he's watched the widely shared video that mentions his mistreatment, and he gives Donnie a job with pay. Was there a bribe involved? Or does Darian not give a damn since he is so comfortable with his dominance over Donnie? Donnie says yes to his offer, but as soon as he walks out, he panics. My hypothesis is that he's come to the realization that his history is still there even after he lets Martha go. He found a way out after realizing where he was and how it was still affecting him, so he declined the job offer. Now for Baby Reindeer's finale, which left me feeling hollow. I had to take a seat and consider its meaning. Many others, I'm sure, have very different theories than mine. Donnie goes to the bar and plays back some of Martha's previous voicemails, where she is all praise for him. In an ironic way, it makes him grin. But when he gets to the message, Martha talks about a cute toy she had as a child, a newborn reindeer. She talks about how it was the one positive memory from her early years and how it made her feel protected. That's why, according to Martha, she gave Donnie the moniker Baby Reindeer. After hearing this, Donnie sobs and goes to the bar to buy a drink. But he understands that he cannot afford it. Given that Donnie is agitated and not in the greatest of moods, the barman gives him the drink for free. Donnie's expression conveys a realization of his own. The barman feels sorry for him, just as he did for Martha in episode 1 when he gave her a free drink. Though I believe there is additional significance here, the realization is evidently clear and completes the circle for the series. This scenario demonstrates Martha's desire for Donnie, which showed up in the most repulsive manner. When he first met Martha, he felt bad for her, but he didn't know that he needed someone to feel bad for him. He didn't want to be relentlessly pursued, of course, but Martha provided him more than he expected. I believe that in his final moments, Donnie had a clearer vision of himself and that Martha was on par with him. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.